Hey sweethearts, today we are going to Cape Coast. What's up everyone? We are back again with another video. Thank you for joining me and I appreciate you all for always tuning in to see my videos. But if you have not subscribed, kindly hit the subscription button and of course, and if you are new here, hi, my name is Lillian and today we are doing a campus tour of the prestigious University of Cape Coast campus. To think that I've been here before is even more heartbreaking for the fact that when I went, this was what I saw, but I couldn't bring that back. So here I am wondering, how did I do it and what exactly did I not do right? The good thing is we all have a second chance and mine is going back there to take a look at it. I hope you are ready and I hope that you have subscribed. If you have not, hit the subscription button, turn on the bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will get notified. Now, let's go straight to Cape Coast. This is the University of Cape Coast, Ghana. The University of Competitive Choice. The university is located within 500 meters of the Atlantic Ocean, making it one of the rare seafront universities in the world. During the past 60 years, UCC has carved a niche for itself as a university that is unique in terms of academic excellence, research excellence and societal relevance. Aus dem Nebel heraus Bring dich wieder zurück nach Haus yeah. Hello, welcome to the University of Cape Coast University of Competitive Choice We celebrated our 50th anniversary in 2012 with pride and a sense of accomplishment This was as a result of the fact that from a very humble beginning in 1962, with a student population of 155 spread over two faculties, the student population has grown in leaps and bounds. Two, welcome to the Atlantic Hall. Before we drive into their history, do you know affiliates of the Atlantic Hall are the ones who came up with the most trended song, Darling Jesus? <laughs> This alone should tell you they do not joke with their Friday morale. Honestly speaking, the first day I got here, I thought I have seen it all. Wow, I was like, wow. And as a matter of fact, this particular one happens to be the first university campus that I ever visited in Ghana until, of course, another video that I recently posted from KNUS team. So this particular uni happened to be the first uni ever that i visited in ghana and up to date the video that i made from here is the highest viewed video of my channel so i don't know a lot of people are interested in this school now as we have always done it we are going to go back there and just do a random tour of the campus and i will be back as always let's go Aus dem Nebel heraus Bring dich wieder zurück nach Haus yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen Zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West Komm halt dich an mir fest
Ich zeig dir alles, was du noch nicht kennst Schau dich in Ruhe um, du musst nicht rennen Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen Zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen Ich führ dich sicher von Ost nach West Komm, halt dich an mir fest I'll continue to hit on this about some things in Ghana that I love so much. Seriously, number one for me in Ghana right now is the healthcare system, followed by education. And I think this is happening because, like, it's as if the government already 
gave the private sector a run for their money. Do you understand? Normally, normally, a private business or whatever in the world always supposed to be bigger than that of the government. But the case is not like that in Ghana. In Ghana, the government just kind of set a high standard for you as a private individual coming to establish a school or a hospital in Ghana and then make it so big that you for you not to go home they already make they already gave you a model to follow by the way they do their own and to think that every kids or every child in ghana has right to education and when they do it's not like they are going to end up in some dirty environment or something they are all going to the same place like unis in ghana are doing very well show me a uni like a private university anywhere in africa that can beat this one anyways i'm so glad to be part of showcasing this beautiful sectors in ghana i love it and the last time i did the video that i did here so many young people reached out to me some of them are from my country oh they were telling me lily that is my school that was in 2022 and a lot of young people were reaching out oh i just got admission to study here and all that university of cape coast is quite beautiful as old as it has been when you visit there's this something new and refreshing about the hostess and all the halls and the trees and all the flowers. There's just one thing in Ghana that I so much love, planting of trees. And I think that everyone should emulate that aspect of planting. This tree planting thing is just amazing. It will just automatically make the environment to be so beautiful and peaceful at the same time. It's just so amazing. But there's something that always surprised me as someone from another country because already we all hear, oh, Ghana is a very hot country. So when you hear hot, you assume it's like the Sahara Desert and so it shall look like the desert because of course it's hot. Seriously, when I came to Ghana new, I was very surprised when I started to see green environments here and there. And I don't know how did this happen? But before I came to Ghana, I've always thought, uh, mm, you know, go the rain, you know, it won't be raining because already we heard that the country is hot. Because in my place, when you are dark skinned, they will tell you, say, I see black like Ghanaian. So already, because you're black now, we believe it's heat that is causing the black. <laughs> oh my God. So many impressions have been corrected since I came to Ghana and start traveling around Ghana. Seriously, if you're considering studying in one of the universities in Ghana, you are welcome. If you are going to the public unis in Ghana, you have these amazing options like this, um, like this one. And of course, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. And of course, the prestigious University of Ghana, Legon. You guys see, if your parents have sent you to school in Ghana, just know that you should just be a good person because it costs them a lot of money to do this for you. One thing I'm hoping to show you guys and I wish I'll be able to show you is the international host there. As always, I don't know why I'm so curious. All the campuses I've visited have this one thing that I noticed they have in common. They the amount of energy they put into building the international student hostel. Why is that? May I know? My fellow Ghanaian, educate me down there in the comment section. It's like all the halls are beautiful, well equipped and all that. But there's this particular amount of energy that the government puts in when it comes to the student, international student hostel. What, what, what point are we proving? Mm, okay, you want to make everybody feel welcome? Ah! It was a savvy business, Ghana savvy business. And due to this, the education tourism in Ghana goes high and high. Everything is so well put together. And yeah, I hope that the hospitals too start to do the same. Like, because the hospitals in Ghana are doing very well and they are well equipped, competent doctors and everything is just fine. I don't know how the Ghanaian government was able to have been able to get the publicity you know for the education or is it the review that past students old students are giving about the schools in Ghana because on their own they just naturally do well you just see people from other nations coming to school here and this is what I want for the health industry as well if you know how to do it do it if you have ever if you have been a health tour in Ghana before give that review to your neighbor because these things is not about Ghana it's about the results that you get because some 
places back home in my country, some companies would rather hire a student who graduates from Ghana than a student who graduates from back home. But when you look at them, you kind of ask yourself, why? You know, before I came to Ghana, I have always thought it's that overhyping thing because we do like imported something so i felt like maybe my people love imported certificates i didn't know getting here i can see so many things that i think yeah if i own a company and i'm willing to employ and i'm only able to employ one definitely i will go for the one that graduates from ghana there are so many things that have been put in place that will help a student mental health to just be focus on the work and their lives because the pressure is not there. There are no traumas like a child having to be careful in school. There are so many things that I noticed in the unis in Ghana that I really appreciate. I'm not doing this video to spite at anyone, but sometimes the truth has got to be spoken. Some of the things I find out in Ghana are way above my expectations. With all due respect, no disrespectment. They are way above my expectation as a Nigerian. Because coming to Ghana, I came with the least... I came with the lowest expectation going to a country that is... Mm, it's not even as functioning as mine. But I feel like coming here has helped me to discover a secret that our own politician in my own country are using, using to keep us small. You know, they try their best to make us believe that other African countries are not doing as well as we are doing. But low-key, the children of these rich people are here schooling in Ghana, the same country that we the common man the masses have been successfully trained you know our minds have been successfully trained to believe that other african countries are not doing as well as we are doing but coming here has helped me to discover the secrets and i think they are doing that to keep us there small and visionless and they're making us to feel unambitious about wanting greatness because we feel like mm, yeah, we are the role models for others. Whereas in reality, Ghana always shock you. Like sometimes I see people on YouTube here giving their reviews about Ghana. Oh, I'm shocked to see this in Ghana. I know they are not lying. It is because it's true. Majority of these content creators are not lying. They see something that they are not expecting. This is not because oh wow this is not supposed to be in ghana no this is because it's not what we have been told of ghana we have different information about ghana and coming here to see is why some of us are here and we have refused to go i'm seeing trending videos online where people have been where young nigerians are being offered monies to take and return to nigeria like as high as two million naira that is about two thousand us dollars yeah, I know it's not a lot of money, but it is a lot of money to some of us young people, people from my country, from an average family from my country. Yeah, I see these videos of young Nigerians rejecting monies in exchange for them, in exchange for their return to Nigeria. So they tell you, no, I don't want the money, I want to stay in Ghana. Now, this is where traveling has now been confirmed to be the best education. Like, because if you haven't traveled, you, have, you can't see. Because how come, I'm saying this because so many things I didn't know about Ghana until I got here. And I don't want to be that person that will just keep all these things to myself. And it's okay, if you want to discover Ghana, travel to Ghana. No, I'm helping you if you have not come to Ghana. Come to Ghana and just basically know that you're not just going to Mm, you're not just going to another African country. You're coming to a country that is not doing badly. The country is not doing badly at all. This does not in any way make Ghana a perfect country, but definitely not what we have been made to believe. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that I will see you in my next one. Bye.